Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalower. And we're playing as Kingdom of Greece because I was recommended this to play as this. And even though at the time it's just, it's not uh, very, well, somewhat current when uh, I'm playing this. But I missed this earlier and some people recommended it. I try it out. So we're here trying it out and let's see what happens. You never know what might happen here. Uh, might be good, might be bad, might be uh, politically connected. Ah, isn't everybody politically connected? God, I hope not. Artillery attack. God, why are so many people politically connected? In the meantime, uh, we are starting with reorganizing the armed forces because this looks like it helps us out a little bit. At least with the political power game. The reorganization of our armed forces is necessary. We wish to secure interest in the Balkans. Though the Teotokis government was able to make significant progress in the S area, the shadow of 1897 still looms on our nation. Once again, the Balkans begin to stir and Hellas must not be caught unprepared. Eventually, we'll do a state of the currency. The Rakhmar, our national currency, has not fared too well as of late. With the aftermath of the War of 1897, low levels of foreign investment and government incompetence, the Hellenic economy has not been allowed to enter the 20th century properly. The government must undertake a series of reforms to remedy this. Note from the Greek dev, uh, thank you for playing the long-anticipated Greek focus tree that I've been attempting to finish since I've entered high school. Oh, God. Wow, well, good job for trying to finish high school. It's been a possible life, possibly life-changing project for me, and I'm now very interested in modern Greek history, being Greek myself, and I'll pursue a career in education with studies in history. Okay, as long as you're not America, don't be a teacher. I want to personally thank Silent for being patient with me and helping me out. Uh, Demetria for the necessary arguments to balance Greece. Le Vrai Mr. Texas for coding a huge portion of the tree. Frosty for helping me with events. Iron Man for designing an initial part of the tree along with coding a very complicated event chain I couldn't do myself. Mr. X for dedicating himself to uh, focus descriptions, to do focus descriptions for Greece. Selinja for adding better code and allowing me to use custom icons from his mod. Lux Germani. Which I should probably check that out too myself. Alex TG for providing interesting and suggestions, interesting suggestions, and making an honest attempt at helping me code. Massive shy Ted and Birchie for playtesting dozens of times. Lopper one four five three for helping me with Greek code and research GFX. Certified loser for doing uh, multiple focus and idea icons. My friend Alex for encouraging me to continue this and not give up, along with doing a lot of GFX icons, and of course you, the player. This wouldn't be possible without you. If you have any problems, bugs, or questions, make sure you ping me in the Discord server. I'll be most likely to respond. Have fun. Yo look. Time. I'm going to say all these words wrong. I apologize ahead of time. So, um, cool. Uh, but yeah, we're on historical. I don't know what's going to happen. It's been a long time since I've actually played uh, the Great War Redux. Uh, but oh, an interesting phenomenon. Well, it actually gives you stability this time. Nice. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Our goal is to reclaim as much as we possibly can. I did watch Alex Rember play through this once, so we'll see what happens. But we have a Mag Magali idea, which I actually really like. Shadow of 1987. Oh, uh, Shadow of Black 1987. Our shameful defeat in the Ottoman Greek War of 1897 is still haunting us. Our army still is incompetent as if, as if we're back in 1897. Well, at least helps us out with getting slightly more political power. That's good. State of the currency. Um, oh god, I don't know. Towards support monopolies? Towards elatism. Etatism? Oh god. Stabilize exchange rate. Economic rigor. It's pretty good. But, oh god. Oh, uh, I don't know. Because I know we'll have to go through here pretty quickly, but... Support Giants? Strain relations with the IFC representatives. Oh, God. Expected number of factories put on consumer goods. Economic recovery. From the University of Athens. Well, I got a lot of stuff to do here. We have uh, resignations of Dragomis eventually... Treaty of Athens has won the First Balkan War. Ooh. Every Ottoman course is not a core of ours. Well, they have expansion. Air Force. I mean, the Navy stuff would be pretty good to do. But Army Reform sounds pretty good to me as well. But doesn't we, I don't think we need to do that immediately yet, do we? Initiate Thessaly Maneuvers. Yeah, that's still pretty good to get, too. Expanded Conscription. Um, organize Logistic Support Services. Create the Reserve Officer Corps. Finance EPK and prepare for the Balkan conflict. You get two more units, that's nice. Motors the army, declare mobilization, fortify the border. I think we want to focus on here as much as we possibly can. Um, but I think we'll probably go with this one, maybe? It's quite evident that the government intervention is necessary to fix the crumbling economy. It has uh, long been the ambition of many Hellenic politicians that the national government owed industry to be expanded and become the core instrument of our economy. So no doubt take a longer time to successfully complete, but will have many long-term benefits. Um, we can support the monopolies. I don't know what Greece did. I'll be honest, I have no clue what Greece did here. 
the economy of Greece before World War One couldn't tell you <clears throat> a single thing except probably they owed a lot of money. They were in debt. I mean, we're all in debt, but you know, whatever. We get 0.55 political power a day, huh? Georgos I, King of Hellenus. Victors of the Macedonian struggle. Uh, debt to the IFC. Ugh. And political turmoil. Oh, that's, that's always good. So, I'll, I'll try this one, maybe? Get more stability. I like that. And we're trying to make two more divisions here, but we'll see what happens, because we're out of guns. Actually, we have enough guns. We need trucks. That's not good. We could maybe buy some equipment, though. King Ferdinand is up an airplane. Oof. Um, after this, negotiations. Finalize the railway network. Get decisions. Economic rigor. This would probably be the best. In times such as these, certain cuts and sacrifices must be made in order to secure the country's finances. We'll need to scale back on certain government-funded programs so as to remain economically afloat. The only temporary measures that will likely not be very popular with the general public. So what do we have here? Daily socialism support. Daily political power. A vision of socialist. Engineer. Staunch monarchist. Backroom backstabber. Oh, that's not good for them. Daily authoritarianism, because we are SIP, we are authoritarians. Diplomatic minister towards elitism. We don't want that political power, but what's the point of political power if we have nothing to spend it on? Weekly stability. Oh, prepare the uprising. Well, that's pretty good. National integrist. Prince of terror. Proto fascism. Cool. Daily compliance. Ooh, metropolitan. Christosumos. Greek Smyrna administration. Ooh, appoint Stergiadis. I like that guy a lot. That seems like he would be very good for us. We need more world tension. So after that one, what? Building slots and stability would be nice. Uh, focus on exports. Add free trade. Large debt repayments. Um, negotiating with IFC, maybe? Oh, August 10, 1910 elections. Elections were declared recently by Prime Minister Stefanos Dragomis in order to ensure political normality from the changes of the regime a few months ago. The political coup echoed the outcry for reform throughout Greece, and Dragumis is being pressured heavily to resign in favor of Gonaras or Venizelos. Or Venizelos. Although the popularity for Venizelos is astronomically high, it's up to the king's choice to appoint whoever he pleases. Interesting. I guess he's going to resign. International Finance Commission is a six-person commission established in 1898 to enforce payment of sovereign debt by Hellas to its creditors. In these trying times, we need to reach a compromise regarding our outstanding debts with the IFC so that the country might be given time to recover economically. Which I don't mind, but... Anyway, we'll get more stability, or... I don't mind adding someone here, because we could probably start working on our army XP. That might be very important to get. Point three, more defense. More attack is pretty good. Only 4% more organization. Wait, this is point 0.4. This is point 0.3. You get even more attack. I kind of like this guy. It's only 15.10. Why would we not choose him? And there's a guy here who's an old guard. He doesn't cost any command power, but that seems like a really good choice. We've got time to do that and whatnot, so... And these divisions are okay. They're 18 combo width. They've got infantry. Or battalion, or, you know, battalions, engineers, artillery, all very good stuff. So, the machine tools are very nice. Uh, oh, that, why not? Focus on industrialization. Now we're going to focus on repaying our debts. I assume we're going to need political power for this. <clears throat> Administrative reforms would be nice for a little more stability, though. Manage debts. Decisions allow applying for IFC loans or decreasing the national debt. Oh, Dragomus resigns. Today, Stefanos Dragomus, under heavy pressure from the now disbanded military league and the low public opinion, has decided to step down, leaving room for two candidates. The first candidate is Eleftherios Venezelos, a young Cretan statesman that was known for his actions in Thereso Revolt and has actively participated in the Gudi movement. The second candidate is Dimitros Gonerus, the leader of the Japanese group which strongly opposes the old guard parties and is known for his radical views against elitism. While both will carry the reforms needed, it's very important with which one shall be appointed. When it will force you to go down the negotiate with the Entente path, be careful which side you choose. Appointing Gunerus will force you to go down the commit to neutrality path. So, after... Appointed after the resignation of Mavro Michaelis, Stefanos Dragumas has presided over tumultuous time in Hellenic politics. 
was with his appointment that the Military League, responsible for the Gudi Revolt of 1909, dissolved in a provisional government form to stabilize the kingdom. Now, uh, Dragomus's purpose is purpose not fulfilled, and it is now up to the King Georgos to appoint a successor. Appoint Venizelos. A lord and revolutionary, Eleftherios Venizelos is a controversial figure in Hellenic politics, with some even going as far to question the validity of his Hellenic citizenship. Oh god. Nevertheless, he's a proponent of modernization and reforms within the country, along by being extremely popular with the people. This is all parliament. I like a political power. The Hellenic Parliament must be temporarily dissolved until the new elections can be concluded. We can afford members further dividing our nation into critical times such as us, such as this with petty disputes and arguments, negotiating with IFC. The International Finance Commission has managed part of our finances since the guarantee loan of uh, 1833. This supervision has greatly limited the industrialization of Greece and forces us to ask the Commission for authorization to provide treasury bonds for banks. Nevertheless, we have here the, we have here the occasion to ask the IFC for a favor because of our cooperation in the repayment of the debt. Apply for debt reduction. Extend the loan. Um, we have one. There's, there's no point to do this one then. Of course, mining investments in Attica. Ooh. Oh, that'd be nice. Apply for debt reduction. Mining investments. Can they take us back? This would actually be really good for steel. Even though eventually, I mean, hopefully get Thessaly for five more steel, but I'm gonna. Uh, I like debt reduction. I'm gonna get this one just because, just in case, because I expect expect us to expand even more in the future. Do we have anything here on economic policy? Trains. Um, don't get me wrong. I want more of supplement and all this stuff here too, but still. Resources. This is all ahead of time. There you go. I don't want to spend too much political power right now because you never know if you need it later on. Economist. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Education reformer. Because right now we're democratic. Back from backstabber. Oh, there he is. I want to sell out more course. I have to have sell out more course. Uh, promote national unity with Hellas undergoing a political upheaval. National unity must be encouraged in order to smooth the transition into the planned new election. Regardless of political ideology, the nation must stand united against the threats of uh, trials and tribulations ahead. I want to manage debt, though. Boycott, boycott the old parties. The old parties have brought nothing but a disaster and misery upon the fatherland with their nepotism and narrow-minded approach to domestic and foreign affairs. The joke must be swept away from the political scene of Hellas is to ever truly move forward. Absolutely. Marines. Ooh, do we need Marines? Maybe. Radio would be nice, but we... I'm not quite there yet. Airships? Do we need airships for this one? Yeah, aircraft, airships, engines. Airship bombers. No. Oh. Well, focus on that ahead of time. So, with us, the Hellenic Army, I don't know which one's best. Let me know in the comments below which ones do you guys choose for design and production for all sorts of stuff here, because I have no clue. I like South Attack, though. So right now, we're out of guns, we're working on, working on artillery. We have, what, one factory? Oh, we're not we're even working on artillery. That's okay. There you go. We can't do anything here because we have no factories assigned. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, it's because we're repairing our ships because we're training them. Revolution in Mexico. Very nice, very nice. I'd rather not get copyright struck right there. Um, alienate the opposition. Appeal to the people. The Hellenic people have gone through hell in recent decades, suffering war, economic stagnation, and incompetent governments. We're one of the poorest nations in Europe, of course. The populace must be reassured that the new provisional government has their best interests at heart and requires their support in the uphill battle again to ahead to secure a better tomorrow. Uh, promise modest reforms, maybe? During this volatile political transition, we must be careful not to make too many enemies. Liberal reforms must be path, but we must avoid enacting too radical legislation in order to bring back political stability to Hellas. Manage debts. In order for the Hellenic economy to stay afloat, certain cuts to the government funded projects will need to be made so as to pay the interest on their loans. It be a very unpopular bo move both inside and outside the government, but a very necessary one. I promise modest reforms. Reconvene, uh, convene a revisionary assembly. A revisionary assembly must be convened in order to amend the outdated and ineffectual constitution of 1864. Convening a revisionary assembly means being able to fulfill our modest promise, or promise modest reforms by enacting a new constitution. I do not want more debt. Uh, police crackdown, less factory output, weekly stability. I'll do that first for now. Why not? 
In the end, we mean well, we want more stability. Maybe chief of the Air Force? Are we really gonna have an Air Force though? What do we have here? Infantry, that's pretty good. Artillery, recovery rate, attrition speed, 24%. Alienate the opposition. There are certain members of the opposition who will never accept what is necessary. To modernize a country. It's futile to try and come to a compromise with them. As such, we must make the public is aware of this and rally them to a righteous cause. Oh, look at that. And declare new elections. It's time for a government to find new true legitimacy by receiving a mandate from the people themselves. As we find ourselves in a much better position than our opponents, it's highly likely that the elections will go in our favor. I'll be honest, we don't have very much here. Fleet and being. Do we, what do we have for our navy? Got a couple battleships. I don't think it'd be worth doing this, but we're doing it anyways. Also, when I was told and recommended to do this campaign, I might have used comms commands, maybe? I don't know. Don't ask me. Aircraft engines are uh, very nice. Very nice. Ooh, tell it to do that. Yeah, we definitely did that. Happy 1911, everybody. It's all ahead of time, and it's still ahead of time, and it's ahead of time, and... <sighs> A lot of it's all ahead of time. There you go. Agadir crisis. Well, how to time battleships? Oh, what do you mean? Sure. Because then again, I guess we do already have early redirect dot holes. Is there any point in even trying to make it right now since we don't have the navy and whatnot? Ooh, nineteen eleven constitution. And if recent wave, uh, recent events have proved anything, it's that a constitution of 1864 has failed in upholding the principles of our democracy. The dedicated assemblies already submitted the proposal to the government, outlining the many areas that need to be amended or reformed in the old constitution, but we're going to do that stuff first. Results of the 1911 March elections. Now that the elections have concluded, it appears that uh, Benizelos has won with an overwhelming majority. He has promised many reforms and won the vote of the people with little to no opposition. The KF will carry on his government for another three years before holding elections again. See how it goes. You never know. Nice. Very good. What dies? Done their job. Anything here? Oh, we got early mobilization already. We're gonna, we're gonna do that anyways. It'd be nice. We're gonna manage our debts and then have constitution. So how do we get to the Treaty of Athens? When is the first Balkan War? Strengthen the party. Ooh. So what can we do now? Small refund. Greece has been heavily indebted since 18. Oh. Hello. 1897, causing terrible economic austerity imposed by our creditors. We need to find ways to pay off our debt and not have our hands tied anymore. Small refund. Negotiate a new loan. Privatize Thessaloniki mines to France. Well, I guess we might as well liberate the Balkans. We, the nations of the Balkans, shall force the Ottomans to retreat from homeland and make sure that they never dare to set eyes on our rightful territories. Are we ready for a war? Um, man, they're pretty far up there. Uh, we'll probably want to do it as fast as we possibly can, right? Structure speed, factory output, stability, separation of powers. In order for the state to function effectively and correctly, separation of powers must be ensured. Each branch of government will be outlined in. Uh, independent powers and responsibilities, so that the powers of one branch are not in conflict with those of the other branches. Uh, we're going to save real quick, because I don't know what's going to happen. We're trying to make Greece big, a big boy again, but... Uh, I want you to be charismatic. We're going to lose... Bulgarian proposal, Bulgaria's approach our embassy in order to strengthen relations. Although we are opposed in the fate of the Macedonian populations, the idea of liberating the Balkans together from the yoke of the Ottomans remains omnipresent. Can we trust the Bulgarians? No, God no. And here we go. Can of in the Balkans. <clears throat> of course it would. Uh, led by, an alliance led by Bulgaria, associated with Serbian Greece, is currently conferring the Ottoman Empire in the West. 
Uh, Origin compromising many belligerents, minorities. The tactics have cleared objectives. Throw the Turks out of Europe. Oh, look at that. That's great. Uh, I still don't get copyright struck, so... Oh, did they explode too? I love it when people explode. Anyways, I love watching Reddit or and whatnot, so... Yeah, that airship's just gonna hang out real quick. I don't want you to move. No, you stay there. You're destined to stay there. You're not moving. Hello. Let them try themselves out. Out from Russia. Russia provided us with weapons for the war with the Ottomans. Our big brothers have now forgotten about us. We'll be obliged to other Russians. That's okay. Okay, so we're at war. Can't do the treaty yet. Maybe we should continue army reforms next. The Royal Hellenic Army is woefully unprepared for war in the Balkans. Foreign expertise is needed in order to prepare the army for the struggles ahead. The officers, however, split between requesting a military mission from the French Republic or the German Empire. Why not both? You know, that'd be probably a really good idea. Do both. Can you go here to here to here? So what do we have here? Artillery. Breakthrough is nice. Defense is nice. Um, I always like production efficiency gain. So we produce more. But we can't even make any more right now. So it's kind of a waste. But we'll get there. Do we want to make any... Oh, let's see if we can do that maybe. Hey! Look at that. That's beautiful. Truly a beautiful thing. Go in, y'all. We're here to succeed and make the enemy bleed. Okay, so you're not doing anything there. That's fine. Why don't you go right there? Why don't you go up there, too? Nice. You know what? I want you to hold. You know what? This is turning to a mess. I want you to hold here. I want you to hold here. I want you to get down here. This is more important than anything else. Sure, I'll ban ya. Let them attack us, that's fine. I don't want to lose our navy either, so continue army reforms would, would be nice. I really don't remember who. If we're joining the Allies, we'd probably want to invite French attaches. Division recovery rate for territory. Organization. French army. Has modernized and adapted greatly in the decades following the Franco Prussian War. Seeing France's help in the reformation of our army would no doubt yield better performance of the battlefield and also bolster the Hellas's relationship with one of the traditional allies. Breakthrough, nice, now they're encircled, fantastic. How about? Kill off these dirty scum. Oh, we need to capture the Thessalonica. I didn't even realize this. Well, we're working on it, you know. Can you, like, help and beat them up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Come on through. Hey! Initiate the Thessaly Maneuvers. It will begin a series of army drills and war games along the northern border in order to get better gauge capabilities of our army. The military's mission report will no doubt yield significant training improvements for our army in the long term. Well, we're at war, you know. Hope we can do it in 50 days, you know. What do they have here? Like, camels or something? And we got them, thank God. Jesus Christ. There's literally no supply here. Oh, that's very bad. Uh, line up in cost. More division attack and defense, which we are going to need. Uh, reorganize the staff service. The War of 1897 proved that the certain members of the military staff are incompetent and incapable. A reorganization of the staff service is essential to our success in the next year of war. By promoting young and talented officers, we can soften out the old guard and create a more balanced and skilled uh, staff service. Alright, so this is really sucking right now. Um, if anything, I'd like all three of you to go right here, maybe. And go right there. I need you to help out. Cut them off. And if this doesn't pass, I'm going to use consequence for this because we just don't have enough time for this. I need you to go here, take these guys out, and then we'll encircle these guys all around here. Issues with the French attaché. Here's the Crown Prince Constantine, which is current Inspector General of the French Military Attaché. is complaining about the maneuvers at Tanagara, Tanagara, engaging in very harsh criticism of the Army State, <clears throat> such as declaring it in a worse state than it was before 1909. Although they did not directly criticize the French mission, the implication was obvious, so that Ido is threatening that he and his men would leave the country. The man, he apologizes. Need more manpower, too. Mm. 
During the War of 1897, the logistics of the Royal Hellenic Army were a nightmare for the High Command, resulting in fortifications and weapons being practically non-existent during combat. Most fun railways, trains, and roads in order for supplies to reach the front line and ensure that the proper counting of equipment is kept at all uh, at all time high. Go here. You should be. Able, you might be able to do this within. Uh, it's getting kind of close. Oh, never mind. We got it. Fantastic. Now we're feeling really good here. Oh, uh, can you guys like go here? You both go there. No, you can both go here though. That'll be good. Are there dreadnoughts? We're thinking ahead of time here, maybe. Mona Lisa has been stolen. That's nice. Congrats, I guess. Um, we're gonna need a lot of manpower. Very good. War propaganda. Oh, we're pretty good right now. Honestly, war measures we're okay for now too. Fortification ones, not bad. But I'm gonna go and get more research speed. 85% is not bad. It's still been assassination, huh? Recruit a recruitment plan. Oh man, we already go up to that one. Jesus Christ. If Hellas is to prevail in the war against his enemies, the army must ensure there is adequate manpower to push a foe from a rival territories. Our recruitment plan must be devised in order to aid the army in any manpower shortages and help create a more efficient conscription system. God dang. Liberation War. The Bulgarian command center now brings together the Allied staffs along for better organization. We move together for victory. Fantastic. Ah, good, encircled. Can you help out there? Yep, destroy these guys. These. Mm -hmm. We got the specialist for now. No oh, darn, no more naval supremacy. Whatever will we do? Oh, everyone's going to war with them. Fantastic. Create the new reserve officer corps. The support of officer training and education is critical to our army's high command. In order to get this training and education, dedicated senior officers must be selected to instruct them in the ways of the war. Treaty of Uchi. Oh. Well, that was fast. Wow, this is disgusting and ugly. Jesus Christ. Excavation. Uh, sure, Italy. Yeah, just don't invade us later. That'd be great. Way too ahead of time. A little bit ahead of time. Do we need Marines, really? I'm just going to grab this. It's fine. Go ahead, destroy them. Ah, uh, they're doing force defense. I would too, probably. Kicking the trucks out. Doing the best we can. Zenai Revolution. Pretty normal. Good. Good. As we should. Go and go into. Look, oh my god. Finance EPK. Supporting locally produced small arms uh, will serve to lessen our import costs while improving our military industry. The British and French rifles our army is equipped with can be reverse engineered in order to create our own designs. Fantastic. How big is our navy? Air, navy. That's a lot of ships. We don't have that many ships. I don't want to lose our guys, so. High army morale. Well, small refund. I'm okay with that. Currently 26%. Not bad. How about here? Okay, maybe not. Just gonna hang out then. Unless they've split up their navy and we can actually naval invade, maybe. Did you navy invade from Athens to like here? We have to go through this entire tree to get all the way down there. Holy crap. Uh, that's okay, so we're gonna go do separation powers next. It looks like all this stuff can be waited for, so. I do wanna do a lot more stuff over here too. Finalize railway network. A well maintained and managed railway network is present in practically all Western powers. As such, Hellas must strive to those standards by completing its own railway network, allowing for easier, better, and faster access to certain parts of the country. So now they're just grinding on themselves for literally no reason, so they're not going to go there. But I think we're going to focus up here and encircle and destroy. What is this? EPK. E oh, yeah, stop the deck. Yeah. 
What does soft attack? More game. Give me more soft attack. I like it soft. God dang, is this high cost. Jesus Christ. I mean, experience gain, division experience gain, political turmoil is less, which is good. We have been gearing society too, huh? Why is it so high for this? Base cost, is, oh, the base cost is 250. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Was that even worth doing? Probably not, but whatever. Can you guys go here, maybe? That'd be fantastic if you could. Get you a lot of XP. Artillery specialist, it's not bad, but still. Alright, so speaking of that, I don't want to lose our navy here, but we're going to see what we can do here. Do this. Do not split off. Open up a front, maybe down there. You never know. Might be good. Might be bad. Might be a terrible decision. Just don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught. <gasps> we landed! Oh, look at that. We actually landed. Go figure. Just trying to punch a hole through here, but... Not always a smart thing to do, sometimes. Oh, reform the bureaucracy. Taxation reforms. Sub superior magistracy council. Judicial system. No, that one too. New loan. No, we're good. Oh, seven. Eight. That's really fast. So they have a modifier for how bad they're doing. Another C. Because this war is lasting a long time. Almost too long. Open increased investments. By offering subsidies and exclusive access to certain foreign businesses, we can persuade them to invest them further into their assets into Hellas. Successful negotiations will definitely kickstart the Greek economy. I'm surprised they're not attacking us at all yet. Here. Oh, so you're down here too. The Ottoman Empire. Invade from here. Izmir might be suicidal. Can you go there, maybe. I'll give it a couple days. We'll see. What we'll see next. They're still fighting here. Oh my God, grinding it out. What are our losses like? We've lost about twelve hundred. They've lost a lot of guys. Can you do this? Ooh. Quite a few guys here. It's mixed. Happy 1912, everybody. I need you to recover first. Still going up, which is nice, but still. How would you do that? Recycling soldiers in and out. <clears throat> mm, focus on improvement. Uh, admin decision, social legislature. Naval expansion. The Hellenic Navy is by far the most prestigious and well-equipped of the armed forces. In the in the war, even in the war of 1897, our fleet was unable to establish dominance in the Aegean, although ultimately was unable to alter the outcome. As one of our main targets are the islands of the Aegean, a landing craft will need to be purchased in order to conduct amphibious landings to liberate our brethren. Look at all the political power we've got, my god. Oh, investment schemes. Decades of economic mismanagement by the past administrations and rampant abuses by foreign powers have left our country destitute of a strong initial foundation. The sad reality of the situation is that in order to achieve our... A highest potential, we might have to ask for the assistance of some of the very same countries that have left us in this position in the first place. Via politicians for t investment talks. Uh, invite to our prestigious nation where we can show off the vast potential for people and manufacturing sectors to bear considerable fruit if we approach our people. Finalizing the Greek Railway. The Greek Railway Network has been developed slowly over time. Starting in 1869, an initiative of private foreign companies, with the later adoption of a four gauge network. However, all these railway lines haven't been finalized due to contract cancellations and therefore haven't seen any proper use. After Decades of planning. The Greek Railway Network will be complete. What are we doing right now? They have expansion? That's good. I'm okay with that. Why not? Keep building ourselves up, you know? 
And then oh, you will invite probably British naval mission, arguably the greatest of the seafaring nations, the United Kingdom's expertise in naval warfare. Cannot be overstated. While inviting a British naval mission will reaffirm our ties with a traditional ally of Hellas and receive valuable feedback as to improve our navy as a whole. Begin naval exercises in the Aegean. Our enemies must learn to fear our colors at sea. In order to project our naval power in the Aegean, Hellas must put the capabilities of its navy on full display. The Admiralty has planned a set of naval exercises with this in mind, and will also be testing our commanders and crews of our ships. As I know we have to get down here to do this. Yeah, doing this would be very, 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 very important, so... <clears throat> Reorganize the naval ministry. Navar Pablos Contoritos has shown great promise as a naval commander. By making him chief of the navy, Navy General Staff, we can elevate a very talented officer and ensure our naval command becomes more efficient. Adopt British Naval Organization. The Naval, British Royal Navy is famed for its naval organization and many of the long voyages that it undertakes to protect the British colonial empire. By incorporating British standards into our day to day naval operations, we will ensure the better performance of our fleet. Reform naval treaties. Our naval trainings become somewhat outdated. Though our sailors are some of the finest in the world, naval warfare is always evolving. No doubt the foreign naval mission can provide us with their own tra training curriculum. Um, so as to bring their sailors fully in the 20th century. And then we're going to probably do... Well... For focus on industrialization. Hellas has never been able to properly industrialize, with many attempts to have been made in the past. The economy is still mainly of agricultural in nature. We're having to do this with a series of targeted government projects aimed at broadening our economic portfolio and mass employment program. To combat the economic plague that is un unemployment, the government will lower certain taxes in order to increase aggregate demand. Education funding will also be boosted to help reduce structural unemployment. <clears throat> Subsidies will be provided to firms in areas with higher high employment as present and allow them to take on more stuff. So right now we're gonna end the episode there. I'm gonna continue focusing on this later on as well at least continue to attack. But regardless, if you enjoyed the first episode of us playing, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As hopefully we'll be done with this war and maybe get into World War One. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.